to sort of do a quick update <coughs> um, after all the heat so that you know how everything held up. Everything held up pretty well. Uh, we had five days above 40, we're hovering around the 45 degree mark. Um, I only lost a zucchini which I put in from the dirt garden. Uh, there's some new peas I put in, they've, they've shot up, they're like twice the height they are in just about over a week. Uh, tomatoes down the end are starting to ripen. Um, strawberries are doing really well, you see down there. Thank you a lot of strawberries. Lettuces over the front there doing quite well. I'm just trying to stay out of the wind, it's pretty windy today. Now the trout didn't hold up too well unfortunately, I lost both the trout uh, due, due to heat stress. We had one night over above 30 degrees, which sort of didn't help the situation and um, the water just got too hot the next day. I did check them a couple of times during the day, but that evening they uh, I found them floating. You can see from the pictures above. Also had a uh, silver perch go on the day as well. Um, again, you can see to get the picture. He was a nice sized fish, he was still okay, so I've knocked him on the head and um, put him in the freezer for later. Now what I did do to help with oxygen levels is I turned my system from flood and drain, which is normally what it runs as, to a constant, using an Afnan, Afnan siphon. So there's my parts for my Afnan siphon. I just take out the uh, stand pipe that's in there, pop this one in, pop the bell over, and turn the pump on 24-7, and turn the uh, the tap down so it doesn't pump as hard into the grow bed. This does two things. One, it, it just seems to keep, keep the bed a little bit cooler, and two, the spray bar that is in, in the fish tank um, pushes a lot more air into the... <coughs> into the water. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see in the next of the shade and I'll just try and get a zoom in on that. There's some more strawberries hanging down there. So everything's doing really well. Everything's growing nicely in the garden. So there's some more lettuces there. So that tomato in the middle hasn't really done much. It's looking nice and big but it doesn't want to flower for some reason. Uh, as for the rest of the garden, potatoes are starting to come to the end of their time, which they do, they die off. The uh, Kiwi fruit's looking pretty sad, and it's got plenty of water. The heat and the 45 degree winds just burnt it, burnt, burnt it off. It hasn't coped too well. Now, to help with the, um, the heat aquaponics, I did put a cover over it. As you can see from the photo. Now, hopefully this wind's not too, too loud in the microphone. Uh, Trying to, trying to keep the wind off it. The rest of the garden did pretty well, held up. I um, also put covers over, over this veggie garden as well, which you can, uh, you can see from the photo. Tomatoes are starting to do really well here. So there's plenty of tomatoes on there. Everything held up, corn, we're eating corn, we're eating zucchinis, heaps of zucchinis, eating heaps of beans. Uh, carrots are gone, eating carrots, uh, beetroot, pumpkin's gone gone a bit berserk but I don't think we'll get much off it, it's getting a bit late in the season. Um, also getting eggplants, sunflowers have gone wild and there's some more, a couple more tomatoes in the great in the dirt garden. So everything's held up pretty well considering the, the massive amount of heat that we had. Um, I'll do a bit of a video later on just on the trout themselves and my, my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Any comments, please leave them below. Give, give us a thumbs up and share us with your, your friends on the social media. That'd be fantastic. And uh, be sure to check out our G Plus page. Thanks for watching. Bye.